viewers questions and why your Facebook ads are not working. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video I'm doing something different and I'm actually going to be answering a viewer's questions on my video. Now I may do this from time to time when I get a question by email or in the comment section and I feel like it's something that a lot of you guys can actually benefit from. So in this particular email it says, hey Sam, recently stumbled across your channel whilst researching e-commerce, SEO, etc. I am also a part-time YouTuber and have a small online business. I'm struggling to generate traffic to my site. I get good traffic when I make YouTube videos, but for various reasons, I've taken a little step back from making videos for a while. And because of that, sales have fallen off a bit. Now I'm gonna pause there for a little bit um, because I would say, I'm not sure the reasons why you've taken time off of YouTube, but if you've been getting traffic from YouTube, you should be doing more videos rather than holding back on videos because you have to remember YouTube is a free source of traffic and it's not costing you a penny. So if that's bringing traction back to your site, um, then I would say tr do your best to get back on YouTube as quickly as possible and pump out even more content than you was doing in the past. I've pumped a bit of money into Facebook ads and fired off a few marketing emails, but haven't really seen any decent return. Uh, just from the wording here, I can see, you know, um, I've pumped off a bit of money into Facebook ads. That kind of suggests to me that you've, you know, you've put a little bit of money in there, but it, it doesn't really it doesn't really come across that you've put a lot of effort into those Facebook ads. And with the emails, you know, you fired off a few marketing emails. It doesn't really seem like you've put a lot of effort into those channels. Um, and one thing that you have to remember, especially with Facebook ads or with, with any other kind of ads where you're actually spending money, Facebook, it could be Google AdWords, it's the, the first few days or the first few weeks is you buying data. So you're not actually spending money to make money, you're spending money to buy data and to see what works and to kind of uh, test the market, so to speak, so you know what works. So, and this is the mistake that a lot of online entrepreneurs make when they're trying to sell products online or, or market their service online is they're trying to make money from the get-go with their ads and really and truly that is very difficult to do because you need to test the market you need to see what what works what doesn't work and buy data you need to set yourself a budget to actually lose a bit of money and and gain some analytics to see what is producing results for you to see what's not producing results for you and then just take what works and really start investing in what works and um, I haven't really got much details here about the marketing emails that you've been sending out but um, I, it really depends on your email list as well like what kinds of people do you have on your email list do you have people who are enthusiastic about your particular product? Do you have people who are enthusiastic about your brand? What how are you sending your emails? Are you constructing your emails in a way that people are enticed to open and to click through and to make a purchase? Because if you've got a really engaged email list, then you shouldn't really be struggling with your email marketing campaigns. Actually, it should be one of the avenues where you're receiving the most amount of revenue, even more so than your YouTube channel. And it probably is worth making the point that um, you know, your YouTube channel is working, it's bringing you in sales. You might not have a huge audience or you might have a huge audience, I'm, I'm not sure, you don't say here, but it's a source of free traffic that's generating income for you. And as you said, it's one of your biggest revenue generators. So I would say, whatever the reason is that you're, you're no longer producing content on YouTube, get back on it as soon as possible. If you find an avenue that's working for your business, then instead of holding it back or pulling it back, you should be pushing that forward would be doing even more you should be doing as much content as you can if you're noticing that it's actually helping your business to grow um, instead of pivoting you only pivot when a uh, traffic source is not working for you or, or when you're finding it difficult to make it work for you. So with Facebook, for example, if, if you was doing Facebook and it wasn't working, then I'd say, okay, perhaps try and pivot and try something else. But the fact that YouTube is bringing in results for you, definitely continue with that. Try and get back on it as soon as possible. And with the paid ads, yeah, it's good to do paid ads, but you have to remember as well that with, with paid ads, are you really making a, a huge return on your investment after your paid ad campaigns and then you know the cost of shipping your products out? What is your margin at the end of the day when you deduct all of that? Is it is it even worth doing the Facebook ads at this particular point in your business? You know, um, maybe the free content that you're producing 
is actually the best avenue for you. The business is almost four months old. Unfortunately, the majority of the customer base is made up of my subscribers. It's only four months old. That's one thing that I will pick up on as well. So uh, it's a very young business. So definitely don't lose heart. You've, you, you know, you're still trying to learn your customer base. You, you, you should be researching the market at this stage. You, sh you should be finding out what common questions do your target customers have? And can you be answering those types of questions on your YouTube channel, on your blog, on your social media posts? Can you create a hub on your website? Can, can, can your social media platforms become a hub for your target customers to come to and find the kind of information that they're looking for? Um, also it has on there, unfortunately, the majority of the customer base is made up of your YouTube subscribers. I wouldn't say that's unfortunate at all. Remember, YouTube is free traffic. That's free traffic that's coming back to your website. And I wouldn't say that's unfortunate. I would say that is awesome, that's amazing. You should be valuing your YouTube customers. You should be valuing your YouTube subscribers, encouraging them to make a purchase from your website, encourage them to, to, to have repeat business on your site as well, not just to purchase once, but to purchase again and again, you know, improve their customer experience, maybe send them a little note when they do purchase from you, uh, just just congratulating them, just, you know, showing your appreciation to them and encouraging them to buy even more. A friend and I are currently rebuilding the website and if you could offer any tips, guidance or services to help make my website great again, that would be great. Yes, in terms of making it great again, continue with the YouTube. Continue putting content out on YouTube. It, the, the design of the website I don't think is the major issue. I think the major issue is that you stopped doing what, what has been working for you. So you need to continue doing what's working for you and put out even more than what you've been putting out. Um, in terms of constructing your site, make it look as great as possible, but also make sure that your site is generating leads and sales. You should have some sort of lead capture page on your site. Um, and if you don't know what I mean by lead capture page, then I do have a video on sales funnels. So make sure you do check that video out. I will link it in the description down below. So you should have some sort of sales funnel process. You should be uh, accumulating emails. Yeah, from this email that you sent me, I can see that you have been doing email marketing campaigns. So hopefully this video was very very useful and helpful to you. If you have any specific questions about your business, then please don't hesitate to email me. It may take me some time to get back to you, but I will get back to you as soon as I can. So definitely drop me a line. But if this video did help you out, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day and I will see you soon.